Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 16th, but keep in mind that the timing is fluid. Um, yeah, the timing is really fluid. This is kind of like a, it's like a, the next episode of the soap opera, you know, that kind of thing. Um, this may or may not be for you. Keep that in mind. We get, I like, get a lot of people don't get that. So I just, I gotta, I gotta mention it at this time. This reading may or may not be for you. It may be your situation or it may not. Don't take it personal if it's not. If it triggers you, there's a reason. And you may want to look back. I find that sometimes the readings that I did a couple days ago are resonating now. Um, today has been a very odd day, put it that way. Energy wise, I don't know if you guys are all feeling it. This is my third time I've tried to do the daily and my camera is acting up. Some, there's just, just one thing right after another and, and I've just had my, my hours mixed. It's just a mixed up energy. It is. Um, I'm going to start right here. What do we got? What do we have for today? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. Embrace the moment. Embrace the moment. Embrace this day, this very moment. Think positively today and repel those negative thoughts. Try not to judge yourself or others. This may be harder than you think. What is actually happening is that you are changing your energy. Interesting, huh? I was just telling you how it was a very mixed up day. What's up? What is happening now in the energy? It may, it may have been a day of confusion. You don't know where you're going. You don't know what you're going on. What? It's just been a mess as far as the energy goes. But what is going on is your energy is changing. You're going through a spiritual download, a spiritual awakening. Something is happening in your energy and that is going to be disruptive. Okay, it is. So, let's get one of these. It's positive. These changes are positive. Even though it may feel uncomfortable as you are purging old energies and bringing in new ones, it probably is an uncomfortable feeling. Courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with courage. So, somebody is going to need to have some sort of courage on this day. Courage to accept change, face change. Page of Swords reverse. Now this is a message you don't want to hear. This is a message you don't want to hear. So if you are weak, you might want to click off right now. You need courage to face things that you don't want to hear. You need strength and courage. To deal with changes. So somebody may receive a message from somebody. Other than me. That you don't want to hear. That causes you to feel conflicted. This could be somebody who doesn't think before they talk. This could be um, a sibling. Or a friend. Or... Just somebody that doesn't really like you. Or they don't care about your feelings. Or who knows what. Whoever this person is. This person. Um, they don't care who they hurt when they're delivering their message. Okay. It's not about that. It's about getting the message across. So. Four of Cups. So the Four of Cups, this is somebody that is thinking about love. This could be somebody that is watching you. Okay, We're just saying. We could have somebody that has been investigating. They've been observing from the sidelines. And they're thinking about, they're thinking about an opportunity. They may be already involved in something. They may. And they're thinking about extending an offer or taking an offer. This person seems to be thinking long and hard about what love is. And about love, period. This person is thinking about it. Very, very intently thinking. 
Ooh, Queen of Coins, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person is holding on. This person is very stable, solid. This person um, has a big golden opportunity in her hand. She does. She has manifested something. Look at that. And she's pretty proud of what she has. She is proud of what she has. She's like, look what, look what I have. I mean, she knows what she has. She has something big to offer and she knows it and she's just holding on to it. She created it. She created it. Whatever this is. She earned it. She earned it. So this queen of pentacles, she's a hard worker. Hmm. Two of swords. Now this is um, restricting a restricting energy, avoiding, protecting. We have somebody here that is very protective of themselves. She has, a, we have somebody here that is very protective of themselves, trying to protect themselves, not offer, I'm holding on to my own. This is somebody that is holding on to their own, doesn't, I'm not giving it away. She's holding on, we have somebody that's holding on to their own and, and totally trying to protect themselves from getting hurt. This person has been watching. We have somebody that has been watching and sees an opportunity for love. This, this person is very valuable, very, this is like self-protection. This person may not be uh, opening up. This, this person over here uh, is afraid. This is fear. This is fear. The full reverse is fear. Afraid to take a risk. We have somebody here. That, this could be an Aries. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I'm not sure. We have somebody here that is afraid to take a risk. It's like they see this huge opportunity for love. They see it. But this person knows their value and is scared. Is scared. Maybe avoiding, you know, giving anything because of their own fear. This person is also afraid. Afraid to take a risk. But they are probably going to take action. The Knight of Wands, this is act now, think later. That is your advice. Take action. Find the courage to face fear with confidence. This is lack of confidence. If you see a big opportunity for love, take it. Go for it. Somebody is about to go for it. Somebody that they have been watching, they've been observing, they've been observ observing this, and they've been fearful of taking this risk, right? This person is very solid and, and valuable and they know it and they have a lot to offer. Um, but that two of swords, that is, that's avoidance. It's a difficulty, it's difficulty in opening up. Um, let me make sure that this is zoomed in pretty good. Hold on, my cards won't. This person may be stalling, blocking their emotions. There's not any, where are the emotions here anyway? I mean, I don't even, I don't really see them. This person has, is, is maybe developing feelings or something like that. It's like they see an opportunity with this person who really has a lot to offer, but this person is like blocked them or blocking themselves from offering anything. This person, somebody is going to take action, could be a fire sign. This is somebody that is very passionate, very lusty, has desires. This person is definitely observing and watching, and they're probably about to make a move. So this person could be at a distance, and this is like moving very quickly. Somebody is about to move very fast, and it could be very sudden. They could suddenly decide to, to go somewhere or to do something, they could actually get in their driver's seat, or get in behind the wheel, or who knows, this is travel, they may decide to travel to somebody, but there is some level of fear here, you need to have the courage to follow your heart, to go after that love that you see, 
So somebody sees, it looks like it's a masculine to me. I think we have a masculine, masculine that sees an opportunity for love with this uh, individual who knows their value. But they are afraid. And this is replacing fear. with This is not having faith. But this is replacing fear with faith in taking action. So somebody is about to take action. They're going to master their emotions. And they're going to do it. They are. Somebody is going to do it. Ooh. We have the Empress reversed. The Empress reversed is somebody that... This is an energy of lack. Okay. That is a lack. Um... Now this is this is making a conscious change to let something go. They may have to let their wife go or let their ex go or something or their I don't know, the mother of their children. They may have fear because of another woman. They could be, you know, their ex or their wife, their ex-wife or something like that. There could be fear of of uh Moving away from that person or how that person will react. Now this is, is letting go of something that isn't nurturing, that isn't abundant. This is letting go. Okay, letting go of something that, uh, it's a loss. This is definitely a loss. So somebody is... Making a conscious change. And this is freedom. To break free from somebody that doesn't take care of them. This is take advantage. Somebody has taken advantage of, some, of this person right here. And this person sees another opportunity for love with somebody that is more solid and stable. But they will have to make a painful, stressful decision to go after that love. And and take action right now. So somebody is about to take action. They are. <clears throat> and they could be moving towards another person who has been hurt very badly. Just saying. Um, I feel as though we have some, some sort of grieving grieving here. This is grieving. This is this is uh A state of despair finally letting go we have somebody here that is is finally going to let go it's like they know that there's another opportunity and they know that they have to let go somebody is about to let go this is like the end of a of a, of a legacy it's the end of a family dynamic it is. Somebody's moving. Moving, moving. Like moving home. Moving away from their wife. Moving away from uh, a woman by the looks of things. It could be a man that is moving away from... I think it is. I think it's a man that is moving away from a woman. Uh, and because he sees a big, bigger, better opportunity and he can't take it until he does. It's like, I gotta go. I gotta go. I think that there's an upset here. Somebody, I think that this, this masculine is going to speak up and deliver a message to whoever it is that he's got to go. He's got to go. So I don't know who this message is for. Um, This person is 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 in a is restricted by another. They are restricted by another, and it's like they, they just it's like they just decide. They just decide that it's time to go. Both of these cards, they gotta go somewhere. Wheel of Fortune reverse. This is being held back. Somebody has been held back.
in a situation that wasn't meant to be. Holding on to an old cycle. Dreaming about love. Dreaming about love a lot. Like, I, this, I want love, I want love, I want love. We could have a we could have a Cancer, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I feel like we have somebody here that is moving towards this is like this is like a past life connection right here. It's like they're moving towards it. They're ready to deal with the opposition. They're ready to deal with the fear. They're ready to face their fears. In order to face their fears, they're going to have to take action. Somebody's about to take action, and they're going. They're, they are. They are. They're about to take action. And it's like close a chapter. Look at these tens. Ten, ten, ten. These are all chapters. This is a chapter that is closing with a woman, a wife, or an ex-wife, or something like that. There's a chapter that is closing with a woman. This man sees a bigger, better opportunity for love, and I think he is about to go for it. He has fear, but this is mastering his emotions and going after the love that he has been dreaming about. He's definitely been dreaming about it right here. And he's been watching and he's been listening and he's been investigating and he's going to take action. So we do have somebody here that is about to take action after, and they're going after a person that is very... Uh, it's just waiting. This person is waiting, not not just holding on to her value. This person has been waiting for the arrival, waiting for this person to step up to the plate. And I feel like this person is about to leave behind the... Uh, whole situation the whole establishment the whole uh it's, this is this was a legacy it was a family dynamic it was a it was something that you know uh, it's like a whole uh phase a whole chapter a whole could be a marriage a whole you know it was a home situation it was a it was a legacy that's the best word for it it's like they're going to leave that behind and start over so I feel like today we have somebody that is about to make a very quick decision to take back control of their lives. And it's like rekindle or reconcile with somebody that they know that they have known before. It's like I know that we are meant to be or I, this is what I've always dreamed of. You know what I mean? So I feel like we, it's almost like we have a soulmate, two soulmates coming together. But I feel like these, this soulmate connection was blocked. It was blocked for quite some time because, you know, you have to go through certain things to, to get to each other, you know, to get to each other. You know what I'm trying to say? Um... There's another opportunity for love. And somebody is dropping an old relationship that has no growth. That's what we got. I mean, I don't need to keep going. That's what we got. I mean, I don't, I don't need to get any more cards. Somebody is moving towards a soulmate. And I think they're doing it quickly. I think it's a sudden decision. Good luck.